Wednesday. And today is the day we drop off this low. I get to take a shower. It's been a day and a half now. You know, just how it is sometimes when you're trucking. You can shower every day or you can shower every other day. But, um, you know, we, we, we did what we said we was gonna do. We got to Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, North Carolina. Gotta drive only 297 miles. It's about like five hours. Um, it's currently, sorry, 6.30. And we're gonna drive and get there and beat, um, beat, try to beat the traffic because you know, they say Atlanta traffic is crazy. ATL, Jacob, ATL, Jacob. Type different over there. I've been over there like a couple times. So yeah, so that's why I, want, I wanted to make sure I get early so I don't have to deal with that crazy traffic. And I can shut up shop once I leave from over there from the receiver. I can shut down, shower, and reset. And, um, you know, catch up on whatever I need to catch up on. And um, start the week off fresh moving forward. And, um, you know, just finish freshening up, wipe myself down, wipe my face and shit like that, brush my teeth. And then um, start driving and just do my little pre-trip walk around. A lot of people behind me now from the night before. It's like one, two, three, four, four more people. So yeah, I catch up when I get to Atlanta or when I stop and take a break. And uh I see y'all soon. Peace. Alright, alright, I made it here. I am in Atlanta. There's a line right now. I stopped my clock, but I am here, man. I think I did um how many miles? Three hundred miles. One hour twenty-three minutes. Yeah, I hear that. I drove straight here. Um, I had a situation with my trailer. The trailer had the light come on, the purple light, and they sent me like I don't know how many messages in red, stating that there was something wrong with the tires. I was to say not another incident because you know, you know I don't, I don't feel like dealing with another incident. But you know I was praying, called wifey. Um, you know we made sure everything was good. I called the road assist people because they sent like a number stating that um to contact road assist for different. I don't know if y'all got that message, but for people that don't know. They sent a, a, a letter, uh, said letter. That's how you know my brain is a little gone right now. Uh, they sent a, um, a number stating that this is the new number. This got backing up crazy. They sent a number stating that um, this is the new number to contact road assist if it's not an emergency, if it's for like something on the side or whatever. This is what you do. It got me moving. Uh, uh, right. I yeah, so I contact them, let them know, like, hey, um, I'm on my way to my 90. Like, this um, trailer got a light going on. I went outside, I banged my hammer on the damn trailer, on the a, on a, on trailer tires, make sure everything was good. I thought I had a flat for a second, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm like, I don't have to pay for that, right? Like, because that ain't my tractor. They're like, nah, you straight, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I bet. So I'm like, I ain't trying to go for that no more with this. You know what I'm saying? I learned from my lesson that time. Let's move forward. So they said I don't have to worry about it. They said going down the um, cause I drove 100 miles during that time. I'm like I've been driving, blah blah blah. They said if it's still occurring, the light's still on, just go to a Love P uh, a Love TA and a Petrol, and they'll take care of it. I'd rather go to Love's. Um, so once I'm done with this, if they don't take the trailer, I'm gonna go to the Love's and go shower and let them take care of the um, trailer. If they take this trailer, he also said if they take the trailer, you should be fine. You don't have to deal with it and um, just take it from there. I'm like, all right, bet that that works for me. You know, let them deal with it. Um, it was fine the whole time I had it. I don't know what happened now, but hey, it's an old trailer. It's a um, 18 zero something. So it's an older trailer. I don't know if y'all seen it in the other video, but um, yeah, man. So. I made it. Um, we almost done. Dude. We almost done. I just wanted to try something different. If y'all got this far in the part three series or from the beginning, I appreciate y'all um, for watching the video, commenting, liking. You know, I'm just trying to showcase something different, do a little bit different. I apologize when I be like, you know, all over the place. I'm like really running and trying my my best and just trying to multitask with you know doing this, also being focused on what I'm doing. And um, it's coming along. It ain't the best, but hey. I gotta be a disaster in order to be a master. And right now, it's all a learning curve process, so I'm getting there. And um, this bobtail just moved, so I'm about to head on up, and I see you when I'm dropping this trailer. All right, I'm back. So they gave me this paper to fill out. I don't know if y'all can see that. They want me to fill this out. 
I'm like, I got my bills. I'm like, I'm ready to, you know what I'm saying? They're like, we need you to fill this out. I'm like, all right, bet. So, yeah, um, I really uh, pushed myself these last couple of days because I already dropped that other load off um, from when I did the, uh, when I got back on the road from Illinois. Um, from going from PA to Illinois to Illinois back to Pottsville, PA to upstate New York. And then they sent me this load right after. And then I grabbed that load from that, um, I forgot what days. I've just been running. And um, that's fine. I had to get back in the swing of things. So it is what it is. But um, fill out this thing, see what they do next. And then drop this trailer. Take my break while I'm at it too because I haven't took a break. But yeah, and I'll get back with y'all. Let me focus. Man. So I dropped that I dropped that trailer, but that trailer tire popped. It popped really bad. But I contact Road Assist about it beforehand. Um I almost left. They sent me another load. I almost left and I needed to empty. Man, I've been running, man. Like, you know, been running. Um just trying to do the damn thing. But I can't front. Your boy getting a bit tired, I ain't even gonna lie. So I have um Four hours left on my clock and they want me to go pick up this next load but i'm in atlanta and um the um it's a bit it's a bit tough because the traffic is at its all-time high right now i still have to climb that load but I'm trying to just keep going but let me go pick up this damn trailer and uh we we'll take it up there i'm trying to multitask by doing videos and also showing but like sometimes a little bit challenging doing um videos when you gotta like move but i'm doing what i can you know like i said i'm just trying something different but I, I see how um, when I end up this video. All right, so I'm picking up this trailer. I'm going to land now. It's hot out here in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, hot traffic. It's like my third time over here in Atlanta. It's pretty dope though, you know? Actually seeing, you know, different parts of the, uh, you know, the, the country, the states. Uh, I was stuck only on the top east top of the north now nah, i done been to almost every uh state besides like vermont and maine and, and stuff like that on the, on the, you know i don't want to go over there anyways especially for the winter time so they um contact me about the tire i'm gonna try to get a photo of that i was trying to avoid it because uh i don't know nobody bother me about it but i'm gonna go check it out show y'all and uh it looked crazy so done with that I'm gonna go pick up this next load. Um, before I, uh, I go there, I'm gonna show y'all the, uh, the trailer. Let me do this uh, trailer inspection. Turn this train on. Hold on, take this glove off. Yeah. So for those that don't know how to do the trailer inspection, you wanna turn this train on. Hold on. I don't know if you have to see, right? You wanna go to menu, pre-trip, right? Then you wanna start it. Let that thing start up. Turn your lights on. And it's a start. Music status. Light blinking. And yeah. You wanna do that every time you um, pick up a trailer just so it won't be no issue that won't be on underneath you so yeah so hold the trailer it says 2019 you want to check the fuel as well right i'm not doing so good i got the front camera i don't have my top power with me right now but yeah the lights is flashing it looks good it's pretty clean inside already check the inside that's another thing you want to check so um you could save yourself forty dollars or so yeah lights is good so yeah so i'm gonna finish up with this and then i'll catch up with y'all when i go to the other trailer where i can show you the tire where it pop but Atlanta looking good out here though y'all it's looking good i got the white beat on it's burning up out here the thing there hot like fire but I holla at y'all. So yeah, like I was saying, this is the trailer I had and the tire bust up. See it there? The tire bust up. And um, they got, I called and they take, they're gonna take, they're gonna get it taken care of. But yeah, 
Uh, pretty much dodged that bullet, but I'm out of here, man. Let me get off the scene, crispy and clean. And uh, we'll pick up this next load. They got me running, but hey, it looks like I might miss a shower today, but hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. But yeah, I'll catch up with y'all on the next scene. Sapphire over there waiting, I gotta get going. But yeah, it's nice over here in Georgia. All right, you two. I'm still in Atlanta, I got my next load. Your boy is grinding, look at the sun. They, I heard, heard what's going on over in the top east. I, um, my family was telling me it looked crazy over there in New York and in PA, it looked crazy. But you know, shout out to everybody staying inside. It looked like it's, it looks crazy. But um, I just picked up the next trailer, loaded. Um, they have overnight parking here. Unfortunately, I can't take a shower today, so I'm just gonna wipe myself down and I need to relax and eat, call my fam. I try to do these videos, I did my best. Um, thank you for y'all for watching the video, I, I did it. It took me three days and I'm on another load. I might do another video for this load, but man, I'm tired, man, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, going. So yeah, I'm about to go get these papers from them. They said, get my trailer and everything and then come inside and get the bills and take it from there. I was over there parking, I had to park the other the other one over there where them cones at, where my man is at. Man, it took me like 30, 40 minutes to get in that spot. Y'all know how sometimes the spots is tight. I ain't all that nice with it yet, but I'm getting there. But yeah, man, the grind don't stop. I got the damn footage of the um, trailer with the, with the um, tire bust up. Man, all these things happening. I ain't gonna quit, I ain't gonna stop. I'm just gonna get through it, you know? And um, just grind it out and try to share my, my journey with y'all, you know? It's not easy, but you know, you gotta just roll with the punches. You know, if you give up, that's the easiest thing to do is give up. The hardest thing to do is keep fighting. Whether people wanna see you up or down, you gotta do it for you and, and build that character. They say adversity builds character, right? So just go through it and get through it. And with that being said, it's Siobhan signing now with this three day drop with the Chobani. Now I'm on the next one. And remember, your journey is not determined where you at, it's where you're going. Peace.